Well, phase two is coming for New Orleans, and that means your list of options to catch a good movie is getting a little bit better. And joining us now for, for the big screen from home is Alfred Richard. Good morning, Alfred. Not just home, Leslie, it's the secret broadcast cave. Don't oh, forget that. That's right. I am. Oh. I apologize. Okay, so let's start no. the Chalmette movies open this weekend. Yes, that's right. The Chalmette movies, my friend Ellis uh, Fortenberry is the owner there. He wants to announce that the Chalmette movies has reopened, and they are going to be featuring several eclectic mixture of films. Uh, case in point, they're going to do a Grease sing-along. That's yes. right. You can sing along with Sandy and the rest of the group of the uh, characters of Greece. The High Note, which is a film which debuted last week in, the not in theaters, but online. And one of my favorites, The Wacky World of Dr. Morbus. That means the good doctor high over the city ice house and the higher order <laughs> will be in group there. The Broad Theater reopened, and of course we all know that there was some flooding that happened That's earlier right. this so week. That's right, so what's the... But they are in operation. Okay, good. And so okay. we could say the Broad Theater is still going on. And one of the films that they're trying to do, bringing on the issue of what is going on around the country with Black Lives Matter, is Do the Right Thing, the Spike Lee classic film starring Spike Lee and Danny Aiello, who recently passed away, also starring Samuel L. Jackson as well. So the Broad Theater will have a wide range of films, ranging everything from, as you saw, as I mentioned, do the right thing to, yes, even Jurassic Park. The Britannia Theater is back, of course, in operation. Our local theaters are really going strong. The, they're showing two classics, one, Singing in the Rain. That's going to be at 2.30 and 5 p.m. And Harry Potter and the Order of the Phoenix, and that'll be at 7.30 p.m. Okay, and then AMC uh, Theaters have announced that they're going to reopen in July, but there are some streaming options, and they're doing kind of the same thing that you were talking about the Broad Theater doing. Tell us more about that. That's right. The AMC Theaters have announced that their major theater chain or uh, uh, major theater offerings will be opening in July. However, AMC On Demand is offering free rentals, especially for as I mentioned, what is going on around the country dealing with Black Lives Matter. And I'd like to thank for helping me put this together. Uh, we have films such as Just Mercy, Selma, and Brian Banks. Those are available. Just Mercy with Michael P. Jordan, Selma with David Aliolo, and Brian Banks, really good films. Selma, especially directed by Ava DuVernay. Right, that's fantastic uh, the they're doing that. streaming services also will be touching on this issue okay. with Netflix showing films such as The 13th. And this is a film, a documentary about the 13th Amendment, again, directed by Ava DuVernay. The Five Bloods is a new film debuting this week, directed by Spike Lee. It's about Vietnam and takes on some of the issues that we saw in Apocalypse Now, but it does it from a different perspective. Really good offering there and the untold story of Emmett Till about the lynching incident that happened that galvanized the nation in many ways, like what we are seeing with George Floyd. Uh, Amazon Prime is also showing several films available for entertainment and education, such as The Hate You Give. This is about a young girl, Star Carter, who has to stream between two worlds, the Black and the white world, especially when she witnesses a crime against her friends and she is torn between which side does she testify or does she not. Hmm. It is also available for free on YouTube, iTunes, and Apple TV. And a lot of options and, this weekend. And I know we only have about a minute, but I know you, one of your friends has a live performance you want to talk about, a streaming one? Yes, very quickly. My good friend Danny O'Flaherty has been touched by what has happened over the last several weeks. And he is putting together on tomorrow, Saturday, June 13th, a program, a show called All Together Now, Songs of Peace and Injustice. Now, it's going to be at the Esplanade Studios, but it is not open to the public in that way to okay. attend. You can watch it on Facebook Live, I'm told, from the Esplanade Studios at 7 p.m., you can purchase this by going on to PayPal for a donation, and you can go to danielflaherty.com for more details. Again, 
this is an important time in our society and there are a lot of things that you can watch this weekend and again we really have to focus on what matters in this country all right alfred thank you so very much we appreciate it have a great weekend